Hello everyone, Tracher Dan here, I hope you're doing well today. In today's video I'm going to be talking about my experience at this year's BTS lectures which was held just this last weekend on Saturday the 14th of March. Um, it was a really really good weekend and I want to just go over it very very briefly. Now this is actually my sixth time doing this video uh, which is why it's late going up because I would film it and I'm not happy with it and so I'm doing it again and then again and again and again. And the reason for that is I found there was too much talking and it was too long. We'd like talking half an hour, 45 minutes, which is too long for a video like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and sort of go over it quite simply um, and just give mention to maybe key things that I'd learned um, at the lectures um, whilst also showing you bits of footage. So the actual BTS weekend began for me on the Friday the 13th of March. Um, my birthday was the 12th of March, so I'd like to thank everyone that sent me comments and messages on YouTube to wish me a happy birthday. I am 30 and I actually feel no different. Everyone was saying that it was going to be really, really bad. And actually, so far, my 30th year has been quite well, um, you know, pretty good. So, uh, yeah, on the morning, uh, I put some footage up on screen. Uh, Dan was watching some of my videos on YouTube. Um, because I don't know why, but he was, and um, you can see, you know, Oscar the dog, and we were we were up early and ready to go, but we didn't want to leave too too early. Um, then I recorded this video before leaving. Okay, then everyone. So today is the thirteenth of March. Uh, me and Dan are heading off to Bristol for the BGS lectures. Uh, my plan is to do like a mini vlog of the weekend things that happen, and I hope that you will all enjoy it. And uh, check out any links in the description. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. And that video was, as I say, I, my plan was to walk around the lectures with my camera and get loads of footage. And that just didn't happen because I was having such a good time. I didn't have time to keep getting my camera out and filming. I was just enjoying the actual lectures. Honestly, really the best way to experience these lectures is to come along. And whilst talking about coming along, thank you to those of you that did do so. Uh, for my recommendation, there was, I believe, sort of 15 to 20 people uh, that came to the lectures from... You know, my videos and things like that and it was great to sit down with some of you and have a talk and have a chat. Um, I actually recorded uh, a video which I'll show you shortly um, of the morning of the lectures where I need to give a special thank you to someone uh, that came there and actually bought me a birthday gift which was really really nice of him. Uh, there's two people that were meant to come that couldn't because of the coronavirus. Now it's not a joke it is a very serious virus and so um, to Janine Marshall and to Kevin, um, who was unable to come to the lectures because of the virus. Um, I'm really sorry that you weren't able to come and hopefully I can catch up with you in the future. So as I said, on the Friday, I uh, got up, went for breakfast with Dan and travelled down to uh, Bristol. You know, nothing too exciting there. Uh, hotel that we stayed at was lovely. I didn't stay in the Aztec Hotel and Spa, which is where the BTS lectures are held. I stayed at the Holiday Inn or the Bristol Lodge, uh, literally just across the car park. It's like a 20 second walk. Um, so uh, really, really nice rooms. I didn't really get any footage of that apart from the little clip they recorded in the morning where the bed is a mess and stuff like that. But that's, you know, I'm not going to make my bed on the morning for a video. So, um, and then on the Friday night we went out, um, we went across to the bar first to meet up with some people over there. Um, you know, some uh, patrons were there and that was lovely to sort of see a lot of people, including Stephen, who is the gentleman that actually convinced me to go to lectures in the first place. So I owe a lot to thank um, him to thank for it, you know. Um, whilst there, I was at the bar getting some drinks for some people, and I saw Peter Kirk. Now, Peter Kirk was already engaged in conversation, and I feel a bit bad for sort of trying to sort of get his attention, but I just wanted to say a very quick hello to him, uh, make myself kind of known to him, and one thing that happened that was really, really nice was Peter Kirk asked me um, if I would do some filming for the BTS at, at the lectures which if you know about me and the BTS and how years ago I didn't think I would ever be friends with them or that I would be made to feel welcome. Um, honestly, to be asked to do any kind of filming for the BTS really was quite special. Um, and to me, it was quite a big deal. I feel very, very privileged. So thank you to Peter and to the BTS committee for being so welcoming to me. Um, and the video that you did was great. If you, if you haven't seen the video, there'll be a card up here. Uh, please go check it out. It was a real, real um, sort of funny little sketch that they did and I would really encourage you to go and watch it. So from there I went across to a different hotel with uh, a few people to meet up with Lee Arden, um, Martin Lees, Guy Tansley, Stuart Longhorn and a few other uh, familiar faces 
and we had some food there and some drinks. Then of course we went over to the um, back to their hotel and we had you know they were drinking there. And then we left. I've actually got a hundred pound parking fine um, because I was on the car park for like half an hour too long, which is really annoying. I am going to contest that, but I don't know, for next year I know that I will make sure that I've left the car park before then I could really do without fines at the moment, like everyone else. Um, and of course I got to spend a lot of time talking to one of my favourite spider people, which is Ray Gabriel. So that was really, really wonderful on this Friday. Um, then, of course, um, went to bed early to get up for the, um, the lectures on this Saturday, which is where I filmed this clip. Hello everyone, good morning, Tranchin down here, and uh, welcome to my BTS lectures vlog video. Uh, so I'm going to be taking my camera into lectures to sort of show you all what the lectures are about. I'm uh, really happy that this year there's about 20 people that have came to the lectures from my uh, from my recommendation, I believe. So that's really nice that some of you have taken uh, my word and have came along to experience lectures for yourself. Um, I'm trying to sort of show you what the lectures are about, um, a bit about how they operate inside the lectures and also what happens in between them and also try and get some footage with some of the people that I'm going to be meeting here today. Now I did plan on vlogging the whole weekend from when I left home. I filmed the intro in my car with Dan Nadal uh, before we left but uh, when we got here we got to the hotel room and we went out last night and it was a really really good night by the way. Thank you to those that uh, sort of looked after us last night. Really really great night. Uh, but I did leave my camera in my car and so uh, I didn't get any footage of that. I just got to enjoy that without any filming. So uh, take my word for it, Friday night was fantastic. Uh, there's a group of us, including Conrad, who actually flew to the UK from Poland uh, yesterday. So it was really, really wonderful for him to join us. Uh, very quickly, I want to mention this in regards to Conrad. Um, there's a photo of me and him um, here. And um, he actually very kindly got me a birthday present. I don't like birthday presents. I don't normally receive them. Um, and came at a very good time because he's actually bought me a wallet with uh, my logo actually um, like embroidered or um, pressed into the leather on the front. And on the back, he has Zelda with a uh, picture of Zelda, my La Cidora Power High Banner, the Brazilian Sun of Pink Bird Eater. So, uh, Conrad, a huge thank you to you for uh, this wallet. I think it's absolutely wonderful. I'm already, um, already using it, of course. And uh, yeah, I really hope that yourself and everyone else who comes to lectures enjoys them. So that said, I'm going to head on over and uh, we'll see what's going on over there. And again, a huge thank you to um, to Conrad for that wallet. It is perfect. I don't actually have it on me at the moment, but it is perfect. It's exactly what I needed because the my, uh, my puppy um, actually chewed at my wallet like two weeks ago. So um, yeah, that was like perfect timing for that and very, very thoughtful. Um, again, I did say that I was going to get lots of footage, and I didn't get that much footage. Um, I got footage of me walking in to the actual lecture and look around. Um, and then there's also a little bit of footage of me outside the actual lectures, uh, next to this uh, big BTS lectures sort of sign that they have. And um, and apart from that, it's like general little clips of just people, you know, talking and having conversations. So really, really nice and. That's something that I've, at least I've got a bit of footage of that to show you what it's like between the lectures you come out you have um, you know, some refreshments there's a bar there hot drinks uh, which are free and um, that's where you get to mingle go to the toilet and you know whatnot you get about 20 minutes or so to do that um, then you go back into the lectures and um, enjoy them obviously in turn basically with small breaks in between uh, with the exception of the last one where you have um, a big break of about an hour hour and a half uh, to go and freshen up, you know, have, go to the shower, get changed, and then be back for seven o'clock to uh, sit down and have your last meal, you know, your evening meal, and uh, then you have the last lecture. So that is the basic structure of it. You go there, you meet people, you go and find a seat. There is no seating plan. It's just go in, find something to sit down, and, uh, and then enjoy the lectures. Also, really need to give this a mention because, again, uh, the BTS were very welcoming to me. Um, for my birthday, they got me a Spider-Man balloon, which um, was kind of funny. Uh, Mark was at the front and he said, oh, he's Dan here. And um, I mean, they could have been someone else. I didn't say anything. And then he said, Dan Oakley. And I was like, oh, okay, like look around, <laughs> look at my feet. And then he said, oh, Tarantula Dan. So I was like, yeah, okay, I'm here. And uh, he bought me this uh, balloon up for my birthday. 
uh, again, one of those little things that for me was just um, really, really nice. I really appreciated uh, that gesture and I have it downstairs in my living room. Um, and yeah, just I really appreciate the thought that they did that. Something, only a small gesture, but it meant a lot to me um, that they actually thought of me on my birthday. So uh, thank you again to everyone at the BTS for that. So now to very briefly brush over the actual lectures. Now, the reason that I'm going to brush over these is because in the, my previous videos, I've been talking for about half an hour on the lectures and I thought people are not going to want to listen to this. So I'm going to try and move it along kind of quickly, but also tell you something that I've learned. Um, so the first lecture was presented by Emma. And by the way, I have to give a special uh, mention to Emma. This was her first lecture, um, at, yeah, at least at the BTS, um, probably the biggest audience that, she, that she's had. And she did an absolutely fantastic job. Uh, she was talking about barcoding. Um, barcoding in a nutshell, if I get this right, if not, I apologize, is where, like when you go shopping and you scan items using the barcode, how a series of numbers, um, can you know distinguish uh, different sort of items with when it comes to animal DNA the barcoding is used for um, sort of separating different sort of species and things like that in a nutshell I think that's right um, if I can find any information on the actual barcoding itself I will link it in the description but uh, Emma got up she did an absolutely fantastic talk on barcoding and in fact um, other people that were doing the lectures uh, yeah, the presenting their lectures actually gave reference to Emma's barcoding in theirs. So that was really, really cool for Emma, I think. And also, um, once we'd f uh, finished the lectures, um, after the evening, after the food, in fact, we went back to Emma's room and um, she had some Prosecco and we enjoyed that uh, with her. And it was sort of a, uh, mostly because she'd done her first le uh, lecture at the BTS, but also uh, me, Emma and Lee, um, everyone knows, of course, Lee, who uh, works at Spider Shop, can't appear. Um, yeah, uh, the lectures is actually where we met properly, kind of became friends. So it was like our three year anniversary. And so that was really, really nice. Um, so yeah, Emma, you did a really, really, you know, absolutely fantastic job. And um, hopefully you'll do more in the future. I, um, I actually thought about trying to like organize a lecture myself to talk. Um, I'm very good at talking. But I don't know if anything that I would talk about would be interesting to a room full of transfer people. Um, oddly enough, I um I don't think it would. So, but maybe in the future I might get up and do all myself. But Emma, you did fantastic. So following Emma was I believe Paul Carpenter. I'm going to say Paul Carpenter. But I don't actually know if that's right. If not, I do apologise. Um, who gave a really good lecture on his travels and they were looking at they're looking for um, like they were tarantulas and it's a shame because the one tarantula that they actually found um, that they were after rather they did find but it was on its last legs dying because of pesticides so that was a real shame um, really really good lecture one thing that I learned I believe it was his lecture that uh, gave this information but they found something called an elephant spider and now if you haven't seen this I will put a picture up here of an elephant spider and I'm going to try and explain it, but basically you can see where there's like the abdomen and then like like the trunk, the elephant trunk, if you will, the trunk is down. Um, this appendage is actually able to be dropped like a lizard's tail, I believe. So not the whole abdomen, but just this extra sort of uh, appendage at the, at the end of it. Um, so that was really cool to sort of learn about those and just, you know, the travels, the places where he went and the sights and things were just absolutely amazing, um, obviously. I went traveling last year to Guatemala and I absolutely loved being out there and seeing and experiencing things that I never never thought I'd even be able to experience. And so to see where other people go, you kind of think, right, I really want to go there and do that and see those things. So that was a really good lecture, a very quick point on that. Next up was Ray Hale. Um, Ray Hale did a really fantastic lecture, again, um, to do with sort of um, you know, uh, traveling and i cannot remember the exact location or what it was called but basically you have two islands 100 uh, kilometers apart or 100 miles apart and he was talking about how uh, the land masses were so different in uh, you know the animal species that were found across them even birds they were not flying across to the other island and yet there were sort of various sort of spiders and things there that had almost i think they traveled like you know like 10,000 kilometers um, to get there. Also, my iguana is coming out. I do apologize. So she's probably going to come and climb up me and destroy the video, aren't you? Uh, if she does, I apologize. Um, so yeah, but these spiders, uh, they were traveling. Are they traveling by wind? Are they rafting over on like a, on a log and just sort of floating across? 
um, no one really knows and that's what he was talking about. It was really, really good. I enjoyed um, all of his lecture. I enjoyed uh, Ray Hale as a whole. No, you can't go up there. So, yes, the Ig Iguana is out and she's scratching me, which is fine. Um, one thing that I really loved about Ray's um, sort of lecture was uh, he went off um, on an early sort of morning hike to go and see the birds of paradise and there was um, I think there was like two or three species that he gave mention to and he actually got some really good footage of the birds of paradise um, I think they were breeding so that was amazing to sort of see that footage nothing to do with inverts just general animals as well and um, I really liked that and at the end he actually did say to me um, that if I ever wanted to do not try and jump up onto my shelves at the end of the lectures he said to me about if I ever wanted to go and see the birds of paradise to go and speak to him. So who knows in the future if I can uh, sort of somehow amass the amount of money to go and do that. Um, I would love to go and do that. So that was that was a really really good lecture as well. So the next lecture was Andrew Smith. Everyone knows Andrew. He's like the like the godfather, I guess, of um, sort of tarantula people at least here in the UK. And he did a talk on Pogletheria. Now I've actually seen um, a lot of this lecture um, in the past at the West Midlands Herpetological Society. He went there to do a talk and I actually got the whole thing on film but I didn't upload it to YouTube of course. Um, and so this talk was really really good. Um, he was talking about sort of um, the Pogletheria and sort of how they were travelling around in um, logs and when they were brought back to uh, the, you know, the museum in London and uh, yeah, that was really really cool. I won't go into the whole thing. I believe um, they, it will be on a DVD in the future. You are being very distracting. Right, you've got to go back in. Sorry, you're being too distracting. I am going to finish this video, even if my animals are being really really noisy. I do apologise. I think that the actual talk on Pocotheria will be out on DVD. I'm sure I heard that, unless it was wrong. One thing to take from Andrew's lecture um, I mean, there's, again, there's so much information like to try and take, but just one point um, is actually really sad, and that is that the Pocotheria hanuma vilis amica, which is a uh, Pocotheria that Andrew himself uh, described, I actually have a female just up here behind me in this coffin enclosure, um, is pretty much extinct in the wild. That's what I got from it. Uh, basically, they're from this sort of quite a small area. And they wanted to set up like a, um, like a mini eco kind of center almost, like a mini reserve. Um, and some people went in, I don't know who these people are. They went in and said, oh no, there's loads of these spiders, they're, you know, they're everywhere, they're, they're fine. They went in, they basically, you know, bulldozed the entire area for hotels and things. And um, I don't think that they can be found there now. Um, I do believe they are extinct in the wild or as good as, which is a real shame. And you could kind of... You know, you can almost feel everyone in the room was, you know, that that sort of sad exhale, like, oh, you know, people, sadly, apart from those of us that like spiders, the majority of the people don't really care about them because, you know, because they're not pandas and they're not clumsy or, you know, but it's a real shame. And that was genuinely sad to hear that uh, this spider is, is going extinct. Um, so if you care about spiders, then, you know, I definitely recommend supporting you know, any kind of conservation work or the BTS as a, as a charity um, to try and sort of help them do what it is that they do. So after Andrew's lecture, I believe it was Andrew's lecture, we went for dinner, which by the way, if you're on the, the dinner time package, uh, you go and take your break, uh, you come back, you sit down at your table, um, you are given a table number and your names are laid out so you know sort of where you're sitting. Um, and then you Obviously, you get caught up table at a time to go and get your food. They had a hub buffet on, and they also provided, obviously, vegetarian and vegan foods for those of you with that dietary requirement, um, of which on my table, there was only one person, which was um, Bex. She was a patron of mine. She's absolutely wonderful. I've, um, you know, I've been to her house and uh, met her, you know, her and her husband for drinks. Absolutely wonderful lady. So, um, But yeah, they do try and cater to everyone. Um, and their, you know, their dietary requirements. Um, once you've all had food and dessert, which I didn't have dessert because I was full, um, they then have the last talk, which was this year, was by Michael Jacoby, who uh, did an absolutely fantastic talk on the Aphnopelma uh, genus, and went through all the, um, 
we went through you know all the different species and where they're from and them in the wild and actually covered that they have I believe there's one or two species that they've discovered um, which are not documented they aren't um, not documented they're not sort of described or named yet so uh, hopefully in the very near future there will be at, at least two new Afnopalmas um, one thing that I loved and I really really loved um, from his talk was uh, that his favourite species of Afnopalma is the Afnopalma pencilo um, which I'll put a picture up here of mine uh, this is my female I do not know of any other of this species in the UK um, very very hard to get and I actually spoke to um, to him afterwards I messaged him on um, Instagram and said look I loved your lecture and um, you know this is actually my female because we actually have the same favorite species um, which was um, quite nice he did say that it's sort of a shame that they're in the hobby but um, you know it's it is what it is at the end of the day but uh, I believe that with his whole lecture he wanted to uh, post um, it either to his YouTube channel or to his uh, BT uh, or to the BTS page. Um, so if you'd like to see the whole lecture on that, I'd really recommend it. It was fantastic. Um, Conrad, uh, who was sat, was he next to me? I think he was. Yeah, he was next to me on this on my right. Um, his favourite genus of tarantula are the Afnopalmas. So um, like that lecture for him was just like absolutely worth going. I think he had a good talk with him. Um, between lectures and yeah I think he had an absolutely fantastic time um, learning about that that genus of spider so and then after that basically um, you know you sit around and everyone drinks alcohol we had to hide out um, the alcohol that we had because we couldn't drink it obviously whilst the bar was still open but we sat around I had a few drinks to be fair I wasn't feeling great so I ended up going to bed a little, little bit earlier but from what I hear of other people they were up till four or five in the morning um, drinking lots of alcohol. I think most people were completely intoxicated and um, they had a really good time. Um, one of the things that I would like to mention, because um, I do apologize, I need to apologize to a lot of people, I didn't speak to everyone there as much as I would have liked to. Um, I have to say that, like, you know, um, I didn't speak to the BTS committee as I would have liked. I barely spoke to, um, to Ray Hale um, or Angela. Um, I spoke to Peter a little bit, but again, not as much as I would have liked. I have been in email contact with him, and um, that's one of my. That's probably my biggest regret of the weekend was not talking to everyone as much as I would have liked. Um, but what was nice is I did get to speak to those I did speak to. I did have some very good conversations with, and when talking to um, a lot of the new people that came for their first time and saying to them, you know, like uh, hopefully you spoke to people and you kind of. Um, felt quite you know welcomed um, one person's name just came up constantly and that was Ray uh, Ray Gabriel I spoke to Dan of course and I said to him you know how did you get on he's like yeah yeah I spoke to Ray Ray this and um, Stephanie was there and she was saying oh, I spoke to Ray and Bex was there and she spoke to Ray and Conrad spoke to Ray um, Gemma and Gemma that were there who I got Ziggy the comedian from they were like yeah we spoke to Ray like everyone spoke to Ray. Um, so that was really, really nice. Like, I mean, they spoke to a lot of other people. So lots of people were telling me that they spoke to Ray, which is really, really good. And um, I also need to mention, because uh, I always have stories um, with Ray. He's, I have a lot of stories with him to do with alcohol, and that sounds really bad. But uh, yeah, I always say in the stories um, that I've told of him um, that it's whiskey. And I actually learned at the, at the lectures that he doesn't actually like whiskey at all in fact he hates it it's rum that he drinks not whiskey so i need to make sure i get that um that correction so yeah as a whole um it's very hard to do this video because of the amount of information that i wanted to put into it was taking it like i said to half an hour 45 minutes and i want to try and keep this video as short as i can so one thing i like to try and encourage if you are able to do so is to please go and check out the bts for yourself um i have literally like glossed over this so so briefly and um, there's so much more information i would love to talk about but trying to keep the video short um, if you're able to do so please head on over to either the bts's facebook page or their website uh, they have a lot of information there and of course if you'd like to read up on some of the things that have happened uh, i'm sure the journals that they post will have plenty of information in them regarding things going on in the spider world and you can join i think it's like 20 pounds for a year's membership uh, which you can do from their website um, honestly i really encourage you if you have any interest in spiders to so go over and check them out and um, 
you know, see what you can learn. And of course, I'd love for some of you to come along uh, to the uh, lectures next year. It'll be really good. I will, of course, be make sure that I'm there. I'll be there all weekend again. And uh, I will probably speak to uh, the BTS committee and see whether I can get some actual filming. I don't want to film the whole thing because really you need to be there to experience it. But I might try and get some actual uh, footage of the uh, the lectures. I was just, to be honest, I was so busy learning that I just didn't really want to keep getting my, you know, my phone and my camera out and interrupting it. So um, that's why I didn't get much footage. But hopefully you've seen a little bit in this video of uh, what my weekend was like and what the actual uh, lectures are about and I just really hope that more of you will come so of course I will give the BTS lectures a bit of a rest as far as mentioning them on my channel but uh, there will be some um, some cards I'd recommend you check out maybe look at the uh, annotations at the end of the video and um, of course as always thank you for watching and thank you to the BTS for being so welcoming to me um, I really do appreciate it and of course uh, yeah thanks for watching everyone take care and I'll see you soon in the next video Take care and goodbye from me.